Every year in the Philippines, it's estimated that 3.4 million pregnancies are unplanned. Now, a reproductive health law has been passed to help women receive affordable birth control. The new law allows government clinics to stock contraceptives and advise on family planning. It could help up to 50% of the country's women. But not everyone is happy with the law, and the debate continues in social media. Here's our Philippines-based contributor, Noel Terrazona. President Aquino is calling for reconciliation after signing the controversial law, but Catholic groups are vowing not to give up. They've warned they will campaign against pro-RHB lawmakers in next May's midterm election. One Twitter user said, the law is against the Constitution and against God. He addressed the lawmakers, you do not know what is right and wrong. The Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines has accused the government of destroying traditional values of families, but some Catholics disagree. This net user wrote, It's only the Catholic priests who are against the RH bill. 78% of the Catholic population support the RH law. One netizen of Inquire.net wrote, Bishops are not the only qualified voters in this country. The majority of this country will continue to support lawmakers who supported the RH bill. Another net user wrote, I am a Catholic, but this is too much. Why can't people see the merits of the law? I am ashamed that our Catholic leaders are spreading the information about the RH bill. The Philippines has one of the highest birth rates in Southeast Asia, well ahead of neighboring Indonesia, for example. Some believe the battle on the reproductive health bill is over. But the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines says it will continue to fight against what it calls the culture of death. In Manila, I'm Noel Tarazona for Link Asia. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.